we're going to take a look at a particular technique called blue snarfing. Now, blue snarfing is a way of connecting to Bluetooth devices and actually extracting files or information from them without them necessarily knowing that that's actually going on. So we're going to use a tool called Blue Snarfer. What I want to do here is I want to run Blue Snarfer against a Nexus 7 that I've actually got sitting here next to me. And I'm going to make it visible to other Bluetooth devices in a second here. I want to actually run Blue Snarfer against it. And I'm going to get a list of the available phone book memory storage here. And this happens to be the MAC address of my Nexus 7. So I'm going to run Blue Snarfer against it. Now, this has actually failed here. And Blue Snarfer can fail if the device you're trying to connect to has additional security on it that is preventing Blue Snarfer from working. This doesn't work on every single device. So let's take a look at some other things that we can do here. Just to make sure that we can actually get access to this, let's run HCI tool and get a scan. And I should see my Nexus 7 show up with the MAC address D850E631563A. And sure enough, there it is, the second one down. Now let's just do a ping against it. And I'm going to run a layer two ping on that MAC address. And you can see that we get a response back. We're not actually getting any bytes back from it, but we are getting a response back in seven or so milliseconds, depending on which one we're actually looking at. So it looks like there's a lot of sevens there. So I am getting a lot of information there. Let's run one other tool and see what information that we can get out of my little device here while it's available. So this is the data that we can retrieve back. And I've used a program here called SDP tool that is allowing me to browse this particular device. So we are looking at this Mac address and you can see all of the information that I've got. I've got a protocol descriptor list and I've got service record handles. This is all of the data that my Nexus 7 is actually providing. There's a Bluetooth profile descriptor list, so we can see the Bluetooth profiles that are actually available. The public browse group is actually set here, and we've got some audio source Bluetooth profile descriptor list. So you can see that there are a lot of profile information settings that are on here. And this is all of the data that we can get back with regards to this particular device. So we can connect to it, Blue Snarfer is actually generating errors, which suggests that this particular device is blocking Blue Snarfer from working. Not particularly surprising. It is a newer device with a newer Bluetooth stack. Blue Snarfing, though, does actually work in some cases. And if you actually get this to work on a device that you are working with, you want to make sure that you are checking the settings for that device. Absolutely make sure that it is not broadcasting itself. So turn off its visibility to other Bluetooth devices to make sure that people can't run Blue Snarfer against you and extract data from your smartphone, your tablet, whatever Bluetooth device you're actually using.